What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. This is where I would usually say welcome back to that beautiful sunny state of Arizona. But we're not in Arizona. So, what are we doing in Indiana? Not yet. Stay tuned. You'll find out. We're in Indiana. But anyway, we're in a hotel room. Why? Why did you ask? We'll get to that. But first, we do our tour. There's the door. Right? We got the mirror. We got the bathroom. Sink, toilet, shower, same old, same old. Bed. Bed. Desk, bag, chair, hangout. Triple D, fridge, microwave. Yeah, fridge, microwave. That's right. Your boy is out here in Indiana at orientation. And I, now, I drive for rail transport. So, I already have my class A or B and all of that stuff. So I'm going after my class A. So we're here at Gary, Indiana. This is the training yard. This is the, uh, the range. So they kind of have all these different areas set up. Um, so as you're looking down this line here where the tractor is, that's for straight line backing. And then you have your two offset sides. Uh, the flatbed is in one of them actually. And then up there, that is for like parallel parking on the left side. These are all training trailers. Uh, the red trucks are trucks that are actually in service. All of the gray trucks are the training trucks. And that one there is actually my truck. I do apologize if it's really windy out here. Uh, it's been raining like the last like three or four days, so it's actually sunny out, so it's pretty sweet. But uh, my training truck, it's a 2016 Freightliner Cascadia, low roof, um, 10 speed. So it is actually open. So, um, if you don't know how to drive manual, it's no big deal. They get you driving it. Uh, 10 speed, like I said. So, I've been handling this thing right here. You know what I mean? And with that trailer. So they teach you how to drive with the 53 foot trailer. The day you test, you're actually gonna pull a flatbed which um if you don't know so the trailers are 53 feet long and then the flatbed trailers are roughly between 45 and 48 feet long it depends on the manufacturer of the trailer but um it's in that range there so you have the split tandems split tandem axles um and yeah so those are the flatbeds here at rail uh, those are your curtain side trailers there pretty cool those you don't have to tarp you just roll those curtains up the side load your stuff in strap them down and then drop the tarp again uh that trailer there i'll go through in week three um for cargo securement I think that's like a, I think it's like a two day class uh, for that. So 
today's Saturday, so I finished my first week. Um, so on Saturdays, they have you come in for half a day. And today we went over like hazmat, load securement, just a little bit of like load secure, legalizing the load. And then you go over, um, hours of service and all that stuff. I'm still pretty familiar with all that, obviously, because I drove the bus. So, um, yeah, I kind of just wanted to let you guys know what's going on, where I'm at, um, and what's going on. So we'll be in the training portion for four weeks. Um, you'll take your driving test that Tuesday of the last week. Um, and as long as you pass, then you're good. You'll do, so for me, because like I said, I'm flatbed, I'll go in a load securement training for like two days and then fly home. Um, estimated fly home date, I think is like the 23rd. So depending on when we get out of training on the 22nd, I can either fly home on the 22nd or fly home on the 23rd. Um, but yeah. Rail has two different types of trucks. Um, they have the International Pro Stars LT models, and then they have the Freightliner Cascadias. Um, so, flatbedders drive mostly the Freightliners, uh, and then reefer drive van they mostly drive the international so this is a freightliner actually we'll do this one because it's brand new how do i know it's brand new these little fender gills right here right there that's how you know it's brand new but Chrome grill, some of them have, well, most of them have the black front bumper and then they have the red um, fenders. So that's that one. And then here is an international. They have that big window right there, which is actually pretty cool. And then the big, chrome grill that you can probably cook steaks on um you'll know it's flatbed or if it's dry van based off of the back of the tractor so the back of a tractor that's a flatbed will have the headache rack that's where all your straps chain binders um all that stuff is and then obviously these are just uh, regular drive-in reefer type stuff. So that's about it. If you guys got any questions, if you guys want to think about coming to rail, please leave a comment below. Morning. Um, leave a comment below, leave a question, whatever it may be. Um, definitely answer all you guys' questions. It's pretty legit here. Um, Rails thing is safety, safety, safety. If you're not safe, you're not gonna make it. Um, if your driver's license is jacked up, they're not gonna touch you. So, yeah. Those four trucks right there, those are actually trucks that are gonna be delivered to new drivers. Some of them, I think those are all 2020s. The 2021s are the ones with those side gills, uh, which are pretty dope. So the lot's pretty full today because it's the weekend and most drivers are on their uh, 34 hour reset. So, uh, but yeah, anybody who drives with rail will come out here. It's either here in Indiana or in Wisconsin for their training. And then you go to wherever your terminal is going to be or so forth and so on. But, yeah, we'll see you in a little bit.
all right guys welcome back um so it's the next day it's sunday um and i thought i'd just run through some things uh kind of give you guys an overview of what it's like in week one here at rail transportation so first things first um week one day two most likely you get your uh, rail id followed by your security card um, that's how you get in and out of the, the building, or not even the building. That's how you get through the gate. Um, rail transport is very secure. So if you don't have this thing, you can't get through the gate. And they put it on one of their, their lanyards, and so that's that. Um, so first day, normal with any other job, it's a bunch of paperwork. You take your picture, um, and then you have to go through like this test. Um, they call it the CRT test and that basically gauges on if you can do the job or not so for drive-in you have to score like a 127 and then for flatbed that I'm on you have to score a 151 or above now you're probably thinking Ooh. and I was too but the the test is not it's not that hard it really isn't you'll do three exercises twice. So you'll do um, a right arm all the way down to your waist, you'll pull it over your head and you gotta pull it as, as hard as you can um, five times. And then you'll switch and you'll do your left hand or left arm. Um, and then after that, you'll do right leg extension, leg ex left leg extension, both five times each. Um, and then they test your flexibility at your hips. So then they strap you into this machine. It looks, it kind of looks like a torture machine. And then they strap this bar across your chest and you have to hold on and you got to bend down at the hips five times. Uh, again, as hard as you can, don't go light on the machine. Basically do those exercises if you're trying to break the machine. So once you do those machine, um, those exercises, the machine will then take a second It'll calibrate and then it'll spit out your score. So I did it and got a 295 or something like that. Um, so no worries, they signed it, handed it back to me and then I went back to our classroom. Um, so everybody does that. And then they go over like your I-9, your W-2, all that stuff, just to make sure that yes, you can work here in the United States. Um, They hand you like a stack of papers, um, kind of going over everything you need to know. The Indiana pre-trip, uh, it's nine pages, both front and back, except for the last page. That one's just the front side, but the other eight pages are front and back. Um, I think it's a total of about 320 different components you need to know to complete your entire pre-trip. All right, and I'm talking from the engine cab, the, um, the suspension, brakes, tires. And it sounds like a lot, 320 co you know, components. Um, and yes, it is a lot, but technically it's the same thing you're repeating just over and over and over. It's all of the parts and there's one of two phrases. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged, or it's not cut, cracked, or frayed. You remember those two phrases and you'll be money. Um, so you'll do the, the, the steer axles, the drive axles, which are the, the duels on the back of the tra trailer or the tractor. I'm sorry. Um, you'll know, have to know the airlines that come off the tractor. Um, there's different components on the back of the tractor. That's going to be on the front. Uh, for instance, on the front of the tra uh, the tractor, you have spring mounts and spring leafs for your suspension. On the back of the tractor, you have uh, control arms and control mounts. And that'll be the same thing for, well, for me, it'll be the same thing for a flatbed um, suspension. There's both control mounts and control arms back there. Um, but as far as the braking and tires, it's going to be the same thing on the steers, on the drives, and on the trailer tires. So if you can remember it in the front, you're going to be just fine. And on the tractor, and then on just fine on the trailer. So 
uh, that's that. We got our our pre-trip down in probably like three days. So um, Monday and Tuesday, you're pretty much in the classroom. Uh, to Monday for sure, you're in the classroom like all day. Tuesday, you're in the classroom half the day, and then they started introducing the pre-trip to you. So like our class had eight people. So four people went out to the truck and laid eyes on the parts. Uh, and my, you know, speaking of that roommate, he was in my my group so you will have a roommate when you come here to rail um they don't just put one person per room it'd be nice um but yeah you'll have a roommate the entire time you're here unless one of you guys don't make it through then you know you'll be by yourself but other than that uh you'll have a roommate so just hope and pray like i did that it's a cool person who you can get along with um but anyway back to that so the four of you guys will go out to the tractor kind of look at all the parts that you've been reading about for the last 24 hours uh, and then at that point your pre-trip starts to make sense to you so you'll do that and then the other four people went to the simulator and they learned how to shift um, I will tell you in week one if you don't get your shifting together you won't make it to week two there's certain standards that you need to meet by Friday up shifting and especially downshifting. If you don't get those things in by the end of week one, you're pretty much gonna go home. Um, now, they're gonna do everything they can to get you there, but it's, it's totally on you. What you put into this program is what you're gonna get out of it. So, um, going into week two tomorrow, so I've, uh, I've, I've progressed. Um, in my truck, there's three people. So there's myself, my roommate, and then another guy whose room is right next to us. He he has a little issue with the shifting um, and downshifting. So, but he has done well enough to make it through. Um, so yeah, day one and two, classroom. Half day two, you're outside. You come in for the simulator, uh, and then starting day three, you meet your um, instructor out at your truck. So Wednesday, we went out there, started our pre-trip. Um, it was cold as ever. I mean, ridiculously cold. Raining, cold, and windy. Horrible combination. So we sucked it up, started our pre-trip, got everything going. Everybody went one time, you know, one, to the, one at a time. Um, then your trainer comes out roughly like 7 15 um, you meet at the truck at like 6 30 and then he comes out at like 7 15 um, and then he kind of goes over the stuff that we're going to go over for the day um so that was cool then we started bobtailing around the yard not giving in gas just learning how to switch the gears learning how to downshift um, actually, I take that back. You weren't really even shifting gears. You pretty much stayed in like one gear, um, and you just coasted around the yard until you learn the dynamic of turning a 25 foot truck. Um, um, and then when you move on, so our group moved on pretty quickly. So like the second day or the second half of day three, we started adding fuel to to driving. So all the other classes, they hooked up to a trailer, um, but they were just pulling the trailer around, no gassing, just putting it in gear, and then just turning. That's it. We weren't pulling a trailer, but we were giving the truck gas, um, shifting into gears. Boom, down shifting in gears. By the end of day three, our our group was the only one that shifted, up shifted, used gas um, around the yard. Like I said, we didn't pull a trailer until Thursday. So let's go to Thursday. Thursday, met at the truck, 6.30, started our pre-trip, 7.15, trainer came out, he jumped in. We then hooked up to a trailer, went over the pre-trip as far as the trailer goes, and then moved on. Now, we're pulling the trailer around the yard, right, giving it gas shifting up shifting down shifting 
um, we're running circles around the other two groups, right? Uh, it was great. I had a blast doing it. Um, I had a brain fart initially, and then once I understood the concept, and they'll tell you, turn your brain off. They're going to teach your body, not your brain. Um, so once you do that, you'll be fine. You turn your freaking brain off. And you literally let your muscles just go through the motions. And then after you do it, your mind will then understand why you're doing what you're doing. Um, so, yeah, did that. Friday, we went to a local industrial park. So the trainer drove to the industrial park. Um, and whenever we do something for the first time, he explains it to you first, and then he lets you do it. So he drove to the industrial park. I was first, jumped in the seat. I started driving around the industrial park, shifting, you know, up shifting, and then learning how to downshift. And then you'll find your reference points when you get to like stop signs and things like that on how to turn, right turns. All we did was right turns. Learning how to turn and get that trailer around the curb without curbing it. Now, if you take your tests, if you curb on your test, automatic fail. Just, you'll pull over, stop, secure the truck, get out of the seat. The, the tester will then get in the seat and drive you back. Um, so we were learning what angles and how to maneuver the truck around the curb so that you don't fail. So um, that was Friday, did all that, drove to a truck stop, Got on the highway, did some driving on the highway, got back to the yard, and then we worked on our straight line backing. We have to do an offset 90 degree backing. Um, right now we're just practicing everything to the right side. Um, but I'm, I imagine this week we're gonna practice um, to the left side. So by the end of Friday, I was backing by myself, offset parking to the right by myself, and then parallel parking to the right by myself. Um, it sounds easy, but when you have to account for 75 feet behind you, the moment you hit a cone, fail. Um, when you parallel park, if the tractor and trailer aren't inside the cones completely where there's a straight line, fail. So um, I did it by myself. I was super pumped. I was the only one that did everything by myself. So score for me and pat on the back and then yesterday we had class um saturdays you'll have half day classes so you get there at seven so yesterday we went over hazmat um securing the load or legalizing the load and hours of service on how to use the truck pc is what they're called the little computer inside the truck um it's kind of like in the bus how we had zonar but this one's called truck PC. So uh, after that, it was like 10, 15. See you guys. Um, so we left. Uh, you get paid until 1130. So even though we left at 10, 15, we were still on the clock until 1130. So 1130, you clock out and that's the day. So that's pretty much week one. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or whatever, please leave them below. Um, if you guys are thinking about going into trucking and you want to come to rail, also comment below. Send me a message. I'll definitely help answer any questions I can um, and do what I can to get you guys here. It's a great company. Um, safety, safety, safety. Literally everywhere you go in the building, um, there's a sign that says safety. It's the cornerstone of our values. If you don't do anything safe, you're not going to be here. And if you're here and you start behaving unsafe, you won't be here. Um, there's a certain way they get in their trucks. And if you don't do it that way, you won't be here. Matter of fact, real quick, there was a girl who tested, right? Did her pre-trip, did her maneuvers, did her drive test, passed them all. She then got back to the facility, opened up her driver door, stepped out onto the steps and said, I passed. The instructor turned around and saw her and was like, what are you doing? Fail. Automatic fail. Now, granted, 
they let her retake it, but it was a week later and she had to cover all her hotel fees. So, God willing, the day I pass, I'm probably just going to sit in the seat, not going to move. Um, but we'll get to that later down the road. So, um, I'm here in the room. My roommate actually stepped out to go somewhere. I don't know. But uh, I just thought I would give you guys a quick update on the process and kind of like a day by day. So, again, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please drop a comment below. Um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. All right. Um, things are about to take off. So we got three more weeks. A test on week four um, on a, either a Tuesday or a Wednesday. And then um, we'll have cargo security training and stuff after that. So, But hey, just like that, this vlog is over. Also, like spot. Like. All right. We'll see you guys. See you. Peace.